like your idea of a fun time, and you'll fit in perfectly into the world of Agatha Hetchadine, Girl Genius! And our last episode, Agatha Hetchadine, Science! And her companion, Cross the First, Emperor of All Cats, Ziza, <laughs> the lost princess of the equally lost city of Scafander, hey. and the author, Trick Vossing, Gentlemen Adventurer. <laughs> what is he still doing here? <laughs> Managed to thwart the plans of Pot Nasty, the villainous vegetable. Oh yeah, that one was tough. And now we're taking a well-earned break. Took us what, three minutes? In a quiet woodland glen. At least you got a salad out of it. <laughs> From which no one has emerged. And alive. tasty! Wait, what was that? What was <laughs> what? Uh, I thought I heard... never mind. So, Othar, it's been nice working with you for a given value of nice, but I'm sure you have Zeppelins to chase or something, right? This, this is indeed true. Not far from here, there is the town of Zuggletunk, which is attacked every night by mysterious creatures who drag away anyone foolish enough to go about after dark. What happens to them? No one knows. That's why they have sent for me, Othar Trigvossen, Gentleman <laughs> Adventurer. I don't suppose you'd be interested in joining me. Since it's probably nothing more than some crazed local madman abducting innocent villagers in order to turn them into his twisted servant. But it'll kill an afternoon. Aw, oh, gee, we'd love to. But look at the time! Indeed! I see it is time to help. Time to vanquish evil. Time to reclaim another small corner of the world from the shadowy menace of those who would use their evil genius to subjugate the innocent. Hmm, my watch must have stopped. Whoa! <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, it came from... Monsters, huh? Over there, let's go! And there's the fellow who's calling for help. He's down! And there's a woman. What's next to him? Good lord. Yikes! That's the biggest rabbit I have ever seen. Ah, uh, that's because you haven't seen the two standing right behind you. The fresh meat. Ah! Look out! The teeth are locking my arm. <laughs> Not anymore. I think I'll turn you inside out. I haven't done that lately. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ah, yes, that's why. Sorry about your clothes. I will attack this woman. Ah! Foolish rabbit, you face Ziza. Judge her up, Chuck. Egg who warrior, your throne and Skibander. Face my shovel. Oh, shovel. Ha! What can you do with her? Bong. How do you do so? Bong. Why are you even carrying me? I think I'll attack the other woman. Ah, good. <laughs> I wanted a chance to test to test my pocket disarming device. Ha, foolish human! I need no weapons. Oh, I didn't see anything about weapons. Uh, <laughs> oh, my arm! Ah, uh, better. Up till now, all I did was rip my pockets off. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! I've always wanted a rabbit foot. And a hat? Ew. Zita, why are you using your shovel instead of your sword? Silly girl. You can't dig a hole with swords. But, mm, right. But this fellow appears to have passed out, but other than that, he's okay. Uh, how about you, miss? You, you killed three of the Oh, okay. Is that what they're called? Those stories I've been told about people being grabbed from the town of Zoggledhunk, unless I miss my guess, we found the problem. The villagers called you? Indeed they did. Othar Trigvossen, gentlemen <laughs> adventurer, at your service. And are these your assistants? No. no. We're still haggling over the minor details. So what happened? Oh, uh, how much have the village elders told you? Only that people have been disappearing. I think it's been about six weeks. The first few who disappeared, people thought it was just the usual. Zombie warrior, shine insect, hideous extra-dimensional intelligences from the bottom of Eric Cotton's well. That's the usual around here. The rents are very cheap. However, <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago, the elders were sent a message. The town was now under the control of Veratina, the Weasel Queen. And as long as she was allowed to take one of the young men of the village every month, the attacks would stop. They agreed, but I see now that this is merely a ruse to keep Veratina from attacking them while they sent for you. Very clever. Veratina, the Weasel Queen. No, I just can't believe the name. <laughs> Around here, it is a name to be feared. You do well to remember that. Well, it's all she had were these giant rabbits. I'm not too worried. They're a work in progress. Um, or so I've heard. I can believe that. Good. Actually, we know nothing about this Ferretina. For all we know, she was one of these rabbits here. Oh, no, you're just pulling. No, no, I don't think so. Rabbits are usually timid herbivores, so minions, perhaps, but leaders? I, I just can't see it. Agatha, we're not 
talking about cute little fuzzy bunny rabbits. These things we took out were three meters tall and smart enough to talk. Mm, Animal-based animal -based constructs, they, they can be warped, that's true, but the basic nature of the original animal does remain. Prove it. Are you, as a cat, prepared to accept certain intellectual precepts? Such as? Such as, while you stand there talking, this string is going to escape. Yes! No, you don't! No, you don't! I get it back here! I got it! I got it! Damn you! <laughs> These rabbits were carrying these people off. And they did try to find us. Yes, that is puzzling. In any case, the two of you are pretty lucky we happened along. Oh, I agree. You must allow me to thank such gallant rescuers properly. Please come to my humble abode. Well, if only to bring your young man back home. <laughs> oh, he is not my young man. I live in this place. He is in the village. Tell you what, we'll take this guy back to the village. Oh, I could walk you back to your place. That would be most enjoyable. <laughs> oh, really? <clears throat> Indeed. But when the moon takes me, I can be most gratuitous. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, was that the wrong word? No, I think it was just about perfect. Well, I suppose someone should see the young lady home. Are you still here? The village of Zoggle Tonk is past those trees. You'll hit a small road next to a brook. Turn left and you can't miss it. I imagine the village elders will be glad to see you. Come, Air Chigvassin. See you back in the village! Not if I can help it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this guy to wake up. Oh, is that why? He's had a rough time. Sleep is probably the best thing for him. Ah, uh, so you'll carry him all the way to Zoggle Tonk then? Rise and shine! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Who are you? I'm Agatha Heterodyne. My companions and I save you and your lady friend from some giant rabbits. I'm Jorf Oxclonker. Those giant rabbits have been terrorizing our village and... Wait a minute. What, what lady friend? The young lady you were with, you know, fur bikini, giant rabbit skull, held dress, big boots with spikes, her teeth. That was no friend of mine, nor of any human. You described the evil ferritine of the Weasel Queen. Couldn't you tell? Oh, uh, well, we meet a lot of strangely dressed people. At least she was color coordinated. This could be bad. Now this Ferretina knows the village elders were just stalling until Uthar arrived. What? You know that we've sent for the great Uthar trick boxing? Yes, well, man, that. What am I doing? <laughs> yes, we traveled here with them. What? That's wonderful! We're safe! Where is he? Uh, walking Ferretina back to her lair? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, perhaps we worry needlessly. What does this Ferretina do with these men she demands? Well, she does demand well-formed, lusty young men over six mm. feet tall and under the age of 25. Mm, I see. <laughs> you do? Yes, she says those taste best when grilled with cheese. Uh, okay, I didn't see <laughs> What did you see? I just want to remind. Well, come on, we've got to hurry. Where to? Oh, we've got to save our car. We do? Of we do. He has no idea he's walking into a trap. If we don't save him, he might get killed. Is this one of these situations that involves ethics? Because I'm a cat, you know, and I've never been very good at those. Let me put it this way. If you don't help me save us, I'll hit you with a very big stick. How big of a stick? <laughs> Will Hagatha be able to find a big enough stick? Will Hagatha <laughs> figure out that he's in danger in time? Will he figure it out at all? And what kind of cheese goes best with grilled ham? To find out, tune in again for the further adventures of...